now move on to your guys' big super match going down January 6th, knuckles up to in Fort Lee, New Jersey, set up by the High Five crew. I went to their first event. They are doing it big, guys, putting major money into this, big pr production, top-level super matches. And when I heard about your guys' match, I am very, very excited. It's going to be a 220-pound weight cap. So who is going to win? Adam, what's happening that day, bro? Are you are you coming for the win? Are you, are you going to get this win? Are you feeling confident? I am feeling extremely confident. I love, I absolutely love the position I'm in because you got to accept Andre's the favorite. I mean, I have never beaten Andre. We've gripped up, we've gripped up a few times. Uh, the last time we, when's the last time we gripped up for us? Probably. I, I remember, bro. Look, we, we pull, I pulled you with you in the first, I think, in the national in uh, when Fourth. Anthony, remember the, the category, uh, Anthony did the national. Yeah, so we we did, I think, like two matches there. Oh, no, one. I beat you yep. there. Then yep. it was IFA World. Yep. 2021, uh, same. And then, what, three months ago in Arizona, yeah, when, when you were a little bit out of... Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, Andre is clearly the favorite. And, I mean, I, I feel like I haven't been in that position where I'm a true underdog in, in a while. And uh, I love it. I mean, I love it. It's it's a uh, when when I was offered this match, it was I, I took it as a big challenge because Andre's definitely a hurdle for me. I mean, that's yeah. not that's a, you're a bigger you're a bigger guy. Um, I know what you're capable of. I've pulled you before. I know how strong you are. And uh, but I'm I'm, yeah. I'm confident. I love I, I like I'm a fan of this matchup. I like it. Thank you to us so much. But you know, I'm going to beat you. Three zero, bro. <laughs> How are you gonna well, beat me? How's it gonna happen? I mean, it's gonna be pretty the same like I did before. I think you like, just, like you're just gonna get the, the center and boom. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that's how Brent Raker thought uh, he was gonna beat me going into uh, Arizona State the other years when he beat me those other two times pretty easily, and then he's probably thought, yeah, just the same thing, and you know, it comes in, and I'm just, you know, I might, I might not be the same guy. I could be. But, you know, like I said, I'm on my way up to practice now. I, I, I drive a long way to train with the best of the best that the Carolinas have to offer and, in my humble opinion, that the nation has to offer. And uh, I might not be the same guy. Same. Might not be. Could be. That's good because I, I gain a lot. I mean, like, I'm, like, much stronger. Like. Yeah. And yeah, Andre, well. Andre's got some strong pullers he pulls with over there in Florida. Bro. Yeah, I've it is like Dane now with my practice. Dane extremely strong for the guy who's doing like one year only. Dane you know, Sellers yeah, is yeah. an absolute animal, guys. This dude, mm -hmm. he is the next big thing. And to be able to get on the table with him weekly, you're going to get some major gains. And then you got your boy Max over there. Max is another yeah. monster. Max Kapperman, Max Taubin. We have like good uh, today was early, you know, at our practice. Saidov. Yeah, it was was really, you know, we, we have good practice here. So well, I find it interesting that yeah, you guys got pulled before. I, I've definitely I didn't know that you guys pulled. So was this in a, a tournament scenario or did you guys actually have a super match? No, it was tournaments, yeah. The first was national, tournament. like 2018, I think. Then was 2021, and then was Arizona State like this year. Okay, and Adam, you were always a 220 guy, or were you a 198 before this? Um, I've got, I'm trying to think. I, yeah, I've pretty much been a 198 guy. I mean, when I first got out of college, I was I was a 220 guy for a little bit because I was heavier. I was heavier in college, and I think that's how we pulled Andre. We were in that 220 class. Uh, yeah. KF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but we pulled 209 at IFA. You cut down to 209. All right. Um, yeah, and so I've kind of been yeah, a 198 guy for, for a while now. Where well, is what is your plan to, to, to come to the match? You're going to gain a little bit for me? or? Yeah, so, I mean, it's always been hard for me to put on weight, but uh, – but no, I'm definitely sitting a little saturated right now. I'm about 212, 2, 210 in the mornings, 
So I, I've put on a little bit. I've put on a little bit. Um, Good. I'm not going to try to gain more weight because I'm not, I'm really not, I don't have any plans to stay at 220. But, uh, right. but I'm certainly going to enjoy myself over the holidays and, uh, and <laughs> good and, and try try to get a little bit puffier for sure. Yeah, and it's going to be opposite for me because they're going to go down. <laughs> yeah, Where you are you at, Andre? What, what's your weight at today? You looking big, bro? Two thirty. Yeah, yeah, you're a big two twenty man. Holy shit! So, <laughs> all right, I want to hear this now, guys. So, uh, round one, we get up to the table, we grip hands. What's the plans, Adam? We know we know what Andre's planning right now. He's just taking you sideways. What what what's your plans, man? How are we gonna change the outcomes of the the meetups before? Well, you see, Paul, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this big hand. I'm gonna wrap it around his. His wrist is gonna go like that, and uh, that that's not, not just <laughs> uh, you know no for real though. I mean, Andre's a look. You, Andre's a very strong and smart arm wrestler. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So. It's, it's going to, you know, I, I have my game plans, of course, but there's a couple ways I could go about round one. And, you know, it's everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. So it's going to kind of be what I feel in that grip up. And yeah. I think he just wait for him, you know. Are you you trying to go inside with him? Am I, am I trying to go inside with Andre? Yeah. I would love to. Can, can the question is is can I get him there, or are we going to have to battle another way? Um, I've had a lot of confidence though in my in my abilities up top recently, so I don't know. It might be something it might be something we explore. Um, again, it's going to depend on what what we feel in that grip up. It's being felt. Andre, what's your thoughts, man? Uh, where do you see this match going? I mean, yeah, I was like. Mm. If I felt always like comfortable to grip pub with Adam, so that's why I think it's always went in my way because like I don't know, just the feeling of the hand, and then I just felt comfortable with him. That's why I think. Do you and want to bring the straps like, or you don't care? And always I I was like like move him from his position so where he can could not like do anything, and basically that was enough for me just to finish it, just like 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 a high hook, you know. High hook. And uh, so do you need to go to the strap or no? Nah, not necessarily, I think. Okay. Who's got the stronger hand out of you? Because I've always heard about Adam's hand and all. Andre, uh, you know, do, do you think you have the stronger hand? I mean, I think it's going to be pretty even, you know, like I, I, I believe. So and then, then who has the, you know, stronger arm going to win, bro. Adam, what's your thoughts on the hand? Who who's got the stronger hand? I would I don't know. I don't know. I think my hand probably is a little bit bigger. Is it stronger? I don't know. I you know, honestly, I, I, I would say that maybe my hand might be a little bit stronger, but Andre's arm is definitely probably stronger than mine. Okay. Um Cause he's just a really, he's, he's just a really strong dude. You know, his, his, his back pressure is really good. And, um, and his side pressure is good too. Adam, are you, are you ranked into 220 pound class in North America? No, I don't think so. Just two, just 198 and 209. Okay. And where, where are you under 198 and 209 rankings? I, I think I'm like number four now at 198 because of that you know, the, the, the standings of that round robin. Um, okay. I think I'm number four now there. And then 209, I, you know, I actually don't know. Um, okay. We'll check that well, out. I don't know. I know I'm top. I mean, I always also can go down to 209. So. <laughs> Andre, where are you it's ranked at my, 220? My I, know you, yeah. I know you're at the top of 220. What, 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 uh, what ranking are you actually in the 220 class with the right arm? Uh, I think it's number second after maybe Paul Lean. Okay. And what about our yeah. left arm? I, I remember you at the top of the left arm. We threw that big event in Washington. And... I mean, also, like, I would say probably the same because I don't know who is at 220 left. I mean, maybe Jordan Seal. I don't know, like, who left? And I don't know. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 
Well, we have another match that it has been mentioned uh, with the Knuckles Up guys uh, going down Knuckles Up to January 6th. And that's Lachlan Adair from Australia, the number one Australian arm wrestler. And uh, he's got his hands full going against Chance Shaw out of Florida, who has just now taken over the Florida Arm Wrestling League. And uh, that match is very, very interesting because, you know, um, I, I got to give Lachlan the strength, um, you know, saying that he's definitely the stronger opponent. But Chance's style, I think, presents kind of a, a real problem for Lachlan. What's your thoughts on yeah. that, Andre? Yeah, yeah, I think like he's gonna get this like back pressure with control and then gonna go side. It's gonna be really hard. Yeah, if Lachlan gonna lose the wrist, so it's gonna be hard, you know, much for him because he's gonna, you know, his arm is gonna blow up, you know, and it's gonna be hard to finish. I don't yeah, think I he can that. finish with, with, with no wrist, you know. I see Chan Shaw's uh, low hand top roll could be uh, could present a problem for Lachlan. You know, I know Lachlan likes to go inside and all, but I also know uh, Lachlan's been working out on his uh, top roll game. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what route he goes with that. Adam, what's your thoughts on that match, bro? And uh, what's your prediction? Who gets the win? Yeah. You know, I got to go with chance because kind of like Andre said, I don't know if I've ever seen Lachlan pull with his wrist compromised. Or, or I'm sorry, I don't know if I've ever seen him pull out of a situation with a compromised wrist. And I don't think, unless he pulls Chance very smart, I, I you know, I, he, he's going to have a flat. His wrist is at least going to be flat. So, I mean, it may not be bent back, but it'll be flat for sure. Uh, yeah, I got to give the, I, I, I got to give the advantage to Chance here. Andre, what about you, uh, prediction wise? Who wins that day? Uh, Chance. Chance. 